Hey guys, welcome back to another one here from Bottom Dollar Builds. Today, I'm going to try to get used to this guy right here and this guy right here. I tell you what, I've always been scared of them, but I'm getting a little bit better at it. It's been touch and go, but we're going to see what we can do with them. So, thanks for watching and let's get to it. Figured before I got all this stripped down, I'd show you guys what I'm doing here. I am not a body man, but this seems like it might be right-ish, so this is what I'm trying. You can see my DA marks here from using a 60 grit in here. I was seeing some of the highs here in my weld seam, so I hit them with the grinder, trying to knock them down a little bit, went back over it with the DA, till all you could see was my grinder mark, so now I know that's lower than here and here. So now I can fiberglass over it. After I wire wheel it, you can see here I'm getting all the paint, all the nasty rust and crust. I got to do the whole seam that away. Seems right. I could be wrong, but that's how I'm going to try to do it. So I'm going to try to get her finished up. All right, guys, as you guys seen, I got a little bit more work done. I've been pretty busy. Didn't film this, this, or any of this, because I really didn't know how. And plus, I don't really know what I'm doing. I didn't want to film it, you know, you guys see me messing up. 
So next project, I've learned a little bit. I'll probably try to film more of the process, but try to get the fender off, try to get them hinges off, because it's about time to start getting this cab prepped for primer. So here we go. All right, guys, I got another coat on. It's starting to get pretty straight. I think I'm about got it. I'm going to start block sanding it now instead of using that DA. Got the upper part there done, too. While I'm letting that dry up, I guess I'm going to jump on the top of this cab. It's pretty rusted up. I'm going to start trying to get that down to bare metal. So here I go. Alrighty guys, we had a bit of bad luck. All this down in here, up on top of the cab and all across there was the first bit of Bondo I put on this truck and I needed the hardener, but it came out kind of thin for some reason. And I could tell the color was different and it never hardened up. So all that had to be ground back down. I put a fresh coat on and lo and behold, I'm out of Bondo now. So to keep things moving along, I think I'm going to take in parts and put them on this truck and then I'm going to have a driver again. So here we go. Alrighty, steering gearbox, very heavy. Had to rig it up here to the cherry picker and get it held up in place, get them bolts started, because working over there with one hand was not fun, and I did not make much progress. But I think my plan for the rest of this, got some more Bondo to put on. I think I'm just going to throw the rest of this thing in time lapse until I get all this Bondo and prepping done, because no point in me stopping every five minutes and telling you guys that I got more Bondo to put on and more to sand. So I'm going to get after it and... See you guys hopefully whenever this cab's done. Alrighty guys, that's going to bring another one to an end right there, but i tell you something I'm learning. I've always tried getting the cheapest materials to work on this truck with, and just like the undercoat, you get a little bit more, man, you get so much better of a quality. I've always used that cheap pink Bondo. I've always had Bondo soap problems with it, and i tell you what, I went to uh, probably the mid-grade, not the high upgrade, but the mid-grade, night and day difference. It goes down smoother, it just all around is a better product. And I tell you what, you need to be cheap, but you cannot be that cheap. So I tell you what, I appreciate you guys for watching, subscribing. We'll see you on the next one.